back everyone to another game review with Mumbles. Now today's episode is done in collaboration with Guardian of Gamers and I want to give them a big shout out and a big thank you for allowing me to review this game. What that also means is this game video is available on two separate channels. It is available on the Guardians of Gamer channel and the Mumbles YouTube channel. So be sure to check both of those out. In addition to that, also please do check out the Guardian of Gamers website. They have all different kinds of reviews and all different kinds of fun things for you to check out. So please do check out the channel and check out their website as well. Now without further ado, let's jump into this game review. Now today's game review is on a game called Heavy Fire Red Shadow. This game is available on multiple systems, including PlayStation 4. Uh, uh, this game is available on multiple systems, including PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 VR, Xbox One, and PC. And it can be brought home for the price of $19.99. Now this game is made by a game company called Mastiff. And this game company has developed a couple different games, including Arcade Islands, Home Sweet Home, and a game that I reviewed myself, Party Planet. Now, what the heck is this game about? Basically, you are thrust into the middle of a war, and you have to defend against overwhelming odds and survive. How do you do that? You jump on a heavy machine gun and you shoot everything in sight that moves. No, I'm not kidding. That's basically what this game asks you to do. It puts you on a heavy machine gun with rockets and asks you to go up against the multitudes of enemies. Is this game fun or not? Let's find out. First off, let's talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First off, the graphics for this game, they're very well made. They're nothing that's gonna blow you away or you know, give you that wow factor, but they are well done graphics for a game like this. Soundtrack wise, this game just kind of has a whatever soundtrack. Uh, there is music playing in the background, but most of the time, all you're gonna hear is ta 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 ta, cause you're shooting a machine gun, guys. So not really a lot to talk about here in the soundtrack section, just a whatever soundtrack. Control wise, this game has a very actually well handling control system and control setup. Uh, you use your triggers to fire and you use your bumpers to activate your airstrikes as well as use your rockets and that's all there is to it you use your little controller stick to move your heavy machine gun around and you're good to go guys now let's talk about the gameplay of this game this game is very much a sit and shoot things type of a game now what do i mean by that basically you will know you will be stationary the entire time you're in this game you're stationary behind a big heavy machine gun and you're just lacing in the enemies with your gun. Now they do change things up a bit as as you continue to kill people you will be given skill points which you can use to upgrade different things such as your health or your gun strength or things like that. So you can change up the way you play this game a little bit based on the upgrade system. Now the final thing I want to talk about in the gameplay section is that the campaign in this game is actually pretty decently long. It has about eight different levels and all of them are relatively long levels. So you can expect a relatively long experience should you decide to buy this game. Now, let's talk about the cons of this game. And I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to uh, really lay out some cons here for you guys. My first con for this game is that this game does nothing new that we haven't seen in a game before. We've all gone to the arcades where you've had rail shooters and things like that. This game looks like it was made for an arcade. Like seriously. The second con that I have for this game is that this game is very repetitive. This game is one of those games that you can get in and play it for, you know, 30 minutes. And then you're kind of like, well, they brought out a new tank. Cool. Well, they brought out an airstrike. Cool. Well, now that guy's in a tanker. Cool. And it just kind of gets repetitive and, and really monotonous and boring. Those are my two cons for this game. Now let's talk about the overall score for this game. Now, Heavy Fire Red Shadow is a game that I feel like in VR, PlayStation VR, would be a really cool game to play. I mean, you think about it. You're, you're directing 
with your body, you're in the battlefield, you're looking at things, you're shooting at things. We've all wanted that perfect situation to play out in our head before. We've all been there where it's like, man, if I could actually be in the video game, that would be so cool. But the thing is, is that I don't think this game transfers over very well to an Xbox One game. I'm sorry, I just don't. For me, this game is nothing that I haven't seen before. It's nothing special. The rockets and things don't do as much as they should. And it just kind of seems like a lazy port over to Xbox when it was meant to be obviously a VR game. So with that in mind, I gotta be honest with you guys on my scoring of this game. If it was, if I played this in VR, my score would probably be, probably be a couple points higher. But for the fact that I'm not playing this in VR, I gotta be honest and give you guys a, a, a relatively, you know, okay score. Heavy Fire, Red Shadow. Today on our review, you are going to receive a five out of 10 on our mobiles review. It's got a good pricing point, which really did give it some points. It's got a decently length playthrough. It's a good bang for your buck. But the thing is, is that it really comes down to how much enjoyment you're gonna get from a game like this. It's nothing you haven't seen before. So are you gonna get enjoyment from it? And for me, that equated to a five out of 10 score. But with that being said, if you even so much as want to think about playing this game, give it a chance. It's at a good pricing point. And yeah, guys, this has been my review of Red Shadow. I want to thank you guys all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those buttons. Now, see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.